All right, thank you everybody for coming to this presentation about engineering study abroad in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I'm really excited to present to you this option. Uh, it's one of our, one of my favorite places. I'm a, I've lived in Latin America myself. And so I really love the idea of study abroad in Latin America, spending six weeks in, in this country where you can take courses and really get to know the, the culture and experience a winter in Argentina. And then you can avoid maybe your Texas summer. It's pretty mild winter, but of course it's in the Southern hemisphere. So let's get started. Buenos Aires down there under the equator um, in Argentina, very large country actually. Um, you can, I don't know exactly land, the span of the land, but it's, I know it's bigger than Texas. <laughs> uh, most of the people live in Buenos Aires. It's a very large city, a very world renowned city. And we, it, there's a lot of European influence there as well. Um, a lot of Italian immigrants, Spanish immigrants, even some Eastern European um, countries as well. Um, but of course it's a Spanish speaking country. And, but our courses that we teach are all in English. The uh, engineering courses are all in English and so even the elective courses as well. So this is a, a map on the right of the kind of core central part of Buenos Aires. And um, you can see it's pretty small, but down on the right over here is where your the study CEA study center is. And the CEA study center is where we offer our coursework. Um, a study center is essentially CEA created, and we house it with staff that we hire from, from locally. Uh, and then also we hire faculty who teach at local universities and are experts in their field to come in and, and teach the courses to US students. Now the courses themselves are on a US transcript. So they're taught to a US syllabus um, and they've already, the ones that I'll show you, they've already been approved by Texas Tech and will transfer to be a part of your degree. Um, and that way you, you're satisfying your international requirement and uh, still staying on track for your degree plan. And then there's also some shaded areas of where the housing is. And we'll talk a little bit about this later, but you mostly um, you live in, in apartments in the summer in Argentina, or I should say winter, winter, summer, <laughs> our summer, the winter. And, uh, but there's, um, you take buses in a lot of these cases, you walk in buses and it's uh, 20 to 30 minutes usually to get to where your classes are. So here's, this is a, what the center looks like. It's, there's a lot of other educational things going on in the building. Um, it's a very centralized uh, location. And along with classrooms, it's a, full of um, resources for students. It can be a place to come and congregate and hang out. The activities that we include in the program, we, uh, we start from here unless we announce otherwise that we're going somewhere and we meet there. But so it's just the hub for the program and where our, our staff works out of should you need anything from them. And you can see that, yes, we have uh, Wi-Fi. You can come bring your laptop and do work there, or you come for classes. You can come and pick the brains of the, of the staff in terms of stuff that might be available for you to, uh, to learn about the area. And then we have a, a staff there. Now, this is gonna look a little bit different. Maggie Magdalena is still there, uh, but because Argentina has been not accepting visitors for a long time. She's the only person working for CEA in, in Argentina. Now, by the time we have other programs, uh, I mean, by the time we run the program, we probably will have someone else. But I, re I kept Jose Balzan here because he's actually still working for CEA. He moved to the US. <laughs> and um, I'm not sure what happened to Julieta. But uh, anyways, uh, we have great staff there. They're there for you for, for everything from support um, of adjusting to living there. You're uh, dealing with issues with housing, academics, and, um, and of course your activities and, and cultural uh, engagement. So 
there's a several courses uh, that are offered. And there's a little bit, for those of you that may have seen the Paris and Rome presentations, there's some differences here. We do have the CEA Center, and we also have, which I, I guess I can go back to the map and kind of show you where this is, but we have a local partner. It's the Instituto Tecnologico de Buenos Aires, the Technical, Technological Institute of Buenos Aires. And that's where one of the classes is offered, Physics 2 with lab. So it's also not really very far away from, uh, let's see, I think it's one of these two right here because this is the University of Belgrano. And then there's, it, it says here, the partner universities, Austral and Belgrano. So it's one of these two. Um, and so it's basically in the same vicinity as the other courses. Um, actually, a lot of our faculty who will come over and teach for CDA also work at IPA and Magdalena, Maggie also has worked there. So we have a great relationship with that school. The course is still taught in English and um, it's a great option for students um, in Buenos Aires. We have thermodynamics that's taught at the CEA Center, like I mentioned. And then all the other courses are taught at the CEA Center. But in order for us to offer a course with the lab, we want, we opened it up at uh, a local university, which is pretty cool. And you still have, uh, in that opportunity, you can have access to meeting other students or other people in, in a college campus environment. So communication and global competence, I highlight as for some of our elective courses, because it's a course that satisfies one of the requirements. Ashley, do you know which requirement it is? Some Texas Tech core requirement. I forgot what it is, but is it multicultural? Um, let me check on that while you continue. Yeah, so that it does, a lot of students can take that because uh, it does satisfy that kind of a thing. So back to the housing again. Um, there's, it's, Buenos Aires is really known because it's it's very neighborhoody. <laughs> so Palermo, Belgrano, and Recoleta are three of the famous neighborhoods, and that's where we try to house most of our students because they're close and they're neat neighborhoods. Um, you can and you usually travel within thirty minutes by walking and bus. There are homestays there, but most uh, students who are coming and doing engineering programs tend to stick to the to the uh, apartment style living. So yeah, in all our programs, we like to have activities that are associated with the area of study. And we have uh, some really neat things that we do in Argentina, including visiting an electrical energy company, which, you know, it doesn't really necessarily matter what your major is, but at least you get, you get this inside look at, at this company and see how things are done in South America versus the United States. Um, we try to just be a little bit more general and broad on STEM uh, engagement and STEM experiences so it kind of can fit multiple audiences. Um, so another thing I'll point out is the city of Buenos Aires is here and the Atlantic Ocean is, is over here, but it's actually also this really wide river, the Rio de la Plata, which is, it almost is like, looks like a bay, but they consider it a river. So it's pretty interesting, it's a beautiful spot along the water, the entire uh, city, which is pretty cool. And one of our excursions, um, I'm gonna go back to the cultural activities. One of our excursions is, is to Tigre, which is uh, this really cool like river experience, um, kind of up, up the river from Buenos Aires. Let me go back to here. Actually, I need to mute in for just a second because my family is about to come in the door and my dogs are going to bark. So, uh, Ashley, if you want to just maybe talk about this or talk about something for a minute while I do that. Yeah, so um, applications are open already, so you can apply um, online. Um, and then they do have a March 1st deadline. So in order to apply, you would just go to our website and you can click on the Argentina CEA program. Um, and then um, we ask students to get all of their um, uh, items, pre-decision items completed by the end of the semester. So that way you could get approved um, after we receive your GPA and your conduct report at the end of the semester. Thank you. 
Um, so I'll, I back, I'll go back to talking about this and we can add more to that maybe later. Um, we have a lot of things that we include on a weekly basis uh, for students to, to really be integrated and engage locally with people, with uh, the culture, the food, um, lots of different neighborhood tours. You know, you'll get to the full experience of Buenos Aires on this program. You'll feel like you're, you're really immersed and you'll, you'll want to stay when the six weeks is over. You'll be like, I'm just scratching the surface. Yet at the same time, you'll, you'll, be, you'll get a lot out of it. But the more that you dive into it, uh, the more that you realize that what you need to learn um, or want to learn. I should say. So, uh, and then we talked about other excursions. There is an excursion that sometimes we take in the summer that would take you over to a neighboring country, Uruguay. Um, there's a polo experience there. Polo is really huge. Uh, there's a really interesting uh, cowboy culture in Argentina. It's kind of a cool um, similarity, I guess, with Texas in that way. Um, but we have, we always have excursions. Uh, we still don't know what we're going to do this summer yet, but um, that'll come together over the next few months. So I think you talked a little bit about this. I'm not sure what else. I missed it because I was making sure the dogs didn't bark. Yeah, I just kind of told them that the applications were open, but I didn't okay. really talk about steps. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So yeah, we, and then we can do that um, if you would like to about their process of what they want to do if they're interested in this program. Yeah, so um, you can start your application online and then it will start with an advising application. Um, and then once you've completed your advising application, then you would make an appointment with me and I would talk to you about your next steps and how to get into the actual program application. Um, as well as um, getting that completed. And we would ask, we try to get students to complete that by the end of this semester. So that way we could um, make sure that you're approved at the beginning of next semester. I also wanna add, just because I think it's critical, um, if you do not have a passport, please um, look into applying for a passport. Um, we're encouraging students to apply for a passport by December 1st. So that way you have it in time for um, your program in the summer. I know that seems um, like a far time off, but it is taking about three months to get a new passport. Yeah, so definitely do that. Um, another aspect to this program is it's one of the cohort programs with CEA. So when you apply through Texas Tech, you're already applied. Texas Tech will send your information to CEA, you only apply that one time, then we just start working with you, collecting other, other materials that you'll need, like your passport copy and um, housing requests, um, course preferences, that kind of thing. So that you don't, a lot of times students have to apply to one and then they have to go and apply to the other manually. We're just gonna upload you directly, which is really great about this cohort. And, and, and along with that comes a nice discount. We don't have, we, first of all, you, we waive a, a $95 ap application fee that other students have to pay to go on CEA. Um, and then we give a $750 discount. So when you look at the, C at the Texas Tech engineering opportunities uh, internationally, you'll, you'll see a different price than you see on the CEA website, um, but you can visit to go learn more about the program, but just make sure that the budget information that you see on the Texas Tech website is more what you're, you know, because that it'll it'll reflect the discount. And make sure that you go through Ashley for Buenos Aires, um, because if you apply it directly to CEA, you might not get that discount. You won't, I mean, you probably wouldn't, uh, although we would maybe move you, but we'd prefer you not to do that. <laughs> um, so that's really the uh, bulk of the presentation. And I'm going to stop recording and see if there's any questions.